Hello folks, Jonathan Milam here with a uh, almost new Bach Stradivarius. It's the 1B and I think the full uh, title is the 191B. Uh, really the 190s, my understanding is they have the two-piece valve casing. You've got brass, brass on the lower part, and then copper up on top. I believe that's the way that Vincent Bach originally made them. They originally or eventually quit doing that, and then they've returned to it with the 190 series. And as you can see in the back, the reason it's called the 1B is because the bell is a bronze. So you have a little more copper content. Very interesting, but you've got copper, and of course copper through here. Then you've got uh, bronze, excuse me, you've got brass for your valve casing and uh, slides and lead pipe. And then you've got copper, and in between, you've got the bronze, which is brass with a higher content of copper. A little warmer tone. It is a uh, soft bell and also a thin bell. Uh, it does have the star here, if you can see that. So it is a lightweight bell. Got the star right there. Got a ceiling fan going. Sorry about the uh, color variation. All right, uh, I'm going to tootle around with Amazing Grace. I've got a very average mouthpiece. I'm going to use five mouthpieces before it's through. And, uh, but this is the Reeves 42C, 26 drill, rather a large throat, a little bit shallower probably than your average Bach 3C. Okay, Amazing Grace on the great Stradivarius 191B. Okay, as usual, I'm going to go to a, a larger mouthpiece with a lightweight bell and a nice five inch bell. Otherwise, it's a, a 459 bore like most strads, medium large. I'm going to go to a very deep Reeves C to J. I always felt you could color the lightweight bell much easier. Should give us a good hearty sound. Okay, one of my favorite mouthpieces. I've played it for years. Trent Austin's TATF, very deep V piece, but uh, not too uh, large of a drill, probably a 24, right in that area, I believe. Really the best of both worlds. Play it soft, you get a nice mellow tone, but you can take it up uh, into uh, high C pretty easily.
Okay, I'll raise it up a fourth for the uh, last couple of uh, mouthpieces. This is Warburton's 6, which is what I use, but the MC, and uh, very nice, uh, not too deep a C, very much bowl-shaped, very bowl-shaped, 27 drill, very, to my way of thinking, sparkling tone. We'll do our best to uh, bring that out in it. <clears throat> And now with the cat out, I can fully concentrate on you all and the horn. <laughs> Okay, the last piece we'll use is another Warburton. It is the shallow. I uh, can't go any shallower. Um, wish I could, but I really can't. But uh, this is the, um, yes indeed, the shallow. I used to have a shallow V that I liked real well. This again is a little more bowl shaped. Should have a bit more of a sparkling tone than the V. Um, Perhaps not as efficient. I've always liked V mouthpieces, but uh, we'll see how this one does. Really, with the lightweight bell, this ought to give us the uh, closest indication to the tone that you'd get if you were looking for a commercial sound or a lead sound. Just a few things about this and then we'll try and uh, move a little bit into the upper register. Really am impressed with this trumpet. Valves are excellent, slides great, of course, you know, compression. Does have a dump slide, which I've got open just a tad. Um, very, very well made. I detect no problems with the finish. Uh, as I mentioned, the valves are nice, still very new but um, a good, good feel to them. Um, just a really an impressive horn. Uh, was surprised, you know, I generally prefer reversed uh, lead pipes a little better than standard ones, but uh, this horn is quite efficient, quite efficient, really a uh, impressive, impressive uh, horn that we've got here. Okay, we'll try and uh, just glissando up to some upper register. We'll start with the C, go to a high C, and uh, see if we can do much better than that.
we've got close to a high F, F above high C. Um, I'm not gonna embarrass myself and try that again. But at any rate, very nice horn, warm in the lower register, and certainly um, commercial sounding enough when you move up. Hope you've enjoyed this again, the Bach Stradivarius 191B with a great bronze bell. As always, thanks for tuning in. Lots of luck, take care of yourself and someone near you, and we'll catch you next time.